Joshua Duperuzel the alleged killer of Joe Versace appeared in his second hearing on Wednesday 9th of November at the Sterling Gardens Magistrates Court. He appeared via online video link. Duperuzel was arrested less than two hours after his name and image was broadcast by police searching for suspects in the shooting of Versace. He was picked up at a Riverside Park on Tanunda Drive in Belmont after walking up to a woman and asking her for a sandwich. He told the woman he was wanted by police and that he wanted to hand himself in. Versace was found dead by police at a workshop premises on Sydney Road the 29th of September 2022. About 4 p.m., police were called to the Sydney Road workshop premises in relation to an incident in which a man had been shot. Police and St. John personnel attended the scene, where it was confirmed the man was deceased. His injuries were consistent with being shot with a firearm. He was shot twice in the stomach and chest. It is understood Versace had affiliations to bikey gangs and was known to be used as an underworld enforcer. Versace was a heavily tattooed bikey associate, who never patched to the rebels. He was known for being used as the muscle or enforcer at various bikey meetings in Western Australia. Known as Versace, or Joey or Jojo to his friends, the 34-year-old was known to be a hard man, his links trace back years, and he had previously been involved with the rebels and the Comancheros. Versace spent the past 16 years in and out of jail, serving his first sentence when he was just 18. He was also charged with being a part of a joint criminal enterprise in 2015 to sell illicit drugs, however the charges were dropped later that year. Many believe that Versace was not just another bikey associate but an experienced enforcer. An enforcer is a member of the club that specializes in handling those who do not go along with club policies, rules, or deals. Enforcement often involves threats or actions of violence, attacks, and even murder. Enforcers are commonly used for collecting money from individuals who are behind or unwilling to pay what they owe. Some may work exclusively as contractors, either independently or for a specific club, which in this case would be rebels. However the family denied his involvement with any bikey clubs and took offense on media for painting the false image. From the moment Versace was shot, links to the rebels bikey were very clear, with senior member Joseph Raimondi seen consoling mourners at the crime scene and various bikies appearing on the funeral with anklet bracelets, plus gang boss Carl Labrook being arrested during a raid in Ridgewood. Previously at the first hearing in early October, Duperuzel's lawyer applied for a suppression order on his name, but the magistrate dismissed the application, saying his name had already been published. In making the submission for a suppression order, Duperuzel's lawyer told the court his client's family was potentially at risk due to association with the Rebels Motorcycle Club. At this point, Duperuzel himself spoke up against his lawyer, saying he'd never asked for that to be said, and claimed the club's got nothing to do with the case. In the hearing on 9th of November police told the magistrate that they were still pulling together evidence against him and wanted an adjournment. Police are still working on evidences, phone records and witnesses which will form basis of the charge. His next appearance will be on December 21st.